Welcome to Cardboard Connection Video. I'm your host, Ivan Lovgren. Few people besides Lord and those inside Kansas City know that the Royals' name actually refers to a livestock show and rodeo held in KC annually dating back to 1899. Until this year, few people also knew what it was like to see the Royals playing baseball in October. With their postseason appearance, we thought now would be a good time to revisit some of the most collectible Royals and their top cards. George Brett, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, George Brett. Whoever you rank number one Royal of all time, you can't go wrong with either one's rookie card. Brett's 75 tops is just modern enough to qualify for junk wax status, meaning a decent grade is still attainable for under $100. Bo's cards may be some of the most nostalgic for collectors who grew up in the 80s. Who can forget his 87 tops? And great dual sports cards like 90 score Bo Nose or this 87 classic Auburn card. Want something rare, however? Good luck finding this 86 Donruss Highlights Bo Jackson Error featuring highlights in all white letters. Only two on eBay currently are demanding $500 or more. Speaking of errors, before Chris Bryant Topps allegedly destroyed Alex Gordon's 2006 Topps rookie card, however, an estimated 100 or less still found their way to market, at one time selling for as much as $2,500. Now you can get them for a tenth of that price. Prospect much? The current Royals have a glut of young material on the market. Jordano Ventura, James Shields, and Eric Hosmer to name a few. Sadly, the last Royals team to feature perennial All-Stars also came in the market-saturated mid-80s, so Brett Saberhagen, Dan Quisenberry, and David Cohn rookies are all readily available for a few bucks. Perhaps too often forgotten, however, is that the very first Royal at bat was rookie Lou Pinella. In 1969, Sweet Lou went on to win Rookie of the Year for the inaugural franchise. Sadly, due to the lack of card rules, his rookie is arguably 1964 tops with a senator's hat, or 1968 Indians rookie stars, or 1969 Pilots rookie stars. It wasn't until 1970 that KC fans got to see Pinella on a Royals card with his tops all-star rookie card, and that seems fitting for a small market team from the Great Plains still managing to scrap with the big boys. Those are some of our favorite Royals cards. Which Royals have you collected? What are some of your favorite cards? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching Cardboard Connection video.